UK, the Labour, the Labour Party is promising a new Brexit strategy if it wins June's snap election. The party says it'll ditch Prime Minister Theresa May's plan for a hard Brexit. Instead, it would guarantee EU nationals living in Britain the right to remain and would be open to retaining the benefits of the single market. Mrs May has said she wants a clean break from the EU. She called for an early general election last week. Well, for CNN's Freedom Project, we now head to Brazil, where a family says they spent years working on a cattle ranch without being paid. In fact, the rancher said they owed him money. Now they're finally getting some justice, as our Shasta Darlington reports. In the small town of Arapoema, the streets turn into mud and laundry flaps in the breeze. Bom dia. But for this family, it's a little patch of paradise. It's Saturday lunchtime when we visit. Luis Cardoso da Silva, or Seu Luis, and several of his eight children sip chilled Coca-Cola and feast on rice, beans, and fried liver. The kind of normal life, they tell us, that they haven't seen for a long, long time. I want to spend more time here at home. Maybe line up a little something close to my family. There would be nothing better than that. We met São Luis and some of his family three days earlier in entirely different circumstances. One of Brazil's four mobile units tasked with cracking down on labor exploitation around the country found them living and working on a nearby ranch. They tell inspectors they haven't received money for two years. They sleep here. The corral is right here next to them. This is a chute where the cattle are removed and put on trucks. Basically, sleeping like animals. The mattress that Seu Luis and his wife share below the cattle chute. Surrounded by pools of fetid mud. So Luis, a fence maker, says they had to buy their own tools. And instead of paying salaries, he says the ranch owner paid them in food and accused them of owing him money. Here we get up early. By seven we're already working. We come back for lunch. Then we go out again until five or five thirty. Every day, that's our work. And at the end, we don't have any money. We don't have anything. He says he couldn't leave because he feared for his family. Mateus Canudo is just 16. He mends fences. You pull out the wires, dig holes, you put in the posts, the work covers the food. The task force comprised of labor inspectors, federal police and prosecutors say it's one of the worst cases they've seen in years. They're even filing criminal charges. We found proof of people living in animal pens, without mattresses, with toxic pesticides near the locations where they were. I am confident I have enough evidence to take them to justice. Judge is reviewing the charges. The first priority, however, removing the family from the ranch. They load up a truck with their few valuables. When I left there, my heart opened up. It was a pleasure to get back to my house with my family. So many things have changed. A house that Seu Luis, nearly 70, rents in town for his youngest children, paid for with his government pension. I took a bath. I went to pick up my son. He was sleeping when I arrived and I picked him up. I drank chilled water since there you can't, there isn't any. We've just been watching movies since we didn't have a TV there. The best news comes a few days later, when the ranch owner's family agrees to pay roughly $38,000 in back wages and penalties for pain and suffering. Money they'll use to finally buy a house of their own a safe haven for their future. 
Shasta Darlington, CNN, Arapoema, Brazil. Ending there. Well, tomorrow we meet the Dominican friar on the front lines in the battle against labor exploitation in the Amazon. Slavery is a system and it has uh, several roots impunity, greed, vulnerability, misery. If you don't address at the same time all of it, you will have probably the same persons coming back to the same cycle of enslavement. Fighting to rescue the workers exploited to produce Brazil's famous grass-fed beef tomorrow on the CNN Freedom Project. And still to come here at CNN, Elton John is sidelined after falling ill with a rare bacterial infection. How is the singer faring? How's he doing? That's just ahead. You're at the International Desk. In 2011, we at EDOF planted a seed with the aim of creating an ever-expanding forest. We nurtured that seed and helped it grow. Inspired by the ethics of giving, our seed grew into a strong tree. Branches emerged with similar aims of compassion, humanitarianism and love. We spread our seeds to help even more people. As blessed is the influence of one true loving human soul on another. In Syria, our aim is to provide relief to 12 million in need, 3.8 million refugees, about half of whom are children. We use our reach to raise awareness of the 30 million slaves in the world today, of the thousands of children trafficked through Europe and the US. We continue to grow into cutting-edge medical research. Our mission, make a difference to people's health, save lives, and support NGOs that plant more seeds. <laughs> His multi-billion dollar company is known as the Google of China. Let me show you. This month, we are with one of China's most revered business minds, Baidu co-founder and CEO, Robin Lee. I think I saw the future many, many people didn't see. 